Hello world! I am heading to Boston this weekend and I'm super excited because I'm meeting up with my girl Marilyn, Andy, and Tiara, and Darlin. Marilyn and Darlin are best friends and Andy and Tiara, we're all friends from Peace Corps. And I met Marilyn when I worked for Disney. So this is my first time in Boston. I'm excited because we're also planning to do Martha's Vineyard on Sunday. I'm gonna take you along with me on this weekend journey and you'll get to spend Memorial Day weekend with me. My mom is taking me to the airport. <clears throat> I got everything in here. I even have my tripod, which I don't know if I'm gonna use, but I bought it just in case. I made it to the airport, and this time I'm flying JetBlue, not Delta. I made it on the plane, and of course I have a window seat. My favorite. The airport is crowded today. I'm excited. First time going to Boston. Good evening, welcome aboard JetBlue Flight 440 with service to Boston. You requested. Yes, I'm waiting to see what time they're coming. 6.26 is when we'll get there. I made it to Boston, and Andy met me at the airport. So we're trying to figure out lift. Marilyn and Darlene are already here, planning to go to the hostel, drop our stuff off, and then we're gonna meet up with Marilyn and Darlene and get some food. Mm -hmm. What are the best things to do? I don't know, really. Maybe to walk around. Um, I don't know if it's like, like a duck toy, walking like the, I'm not sure if they're working, you know, like if oh, they're open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cleveland is in the same time zone as Boston? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like one hour behind because I'm still on Chicago time because I'm still with my full time job. Oh, yeah. So I'm so mm -hmm. glad you texted me because then I was like, oh crap, I actually have one hour to get to the airport, not two. <laughs> oh, because you were still thinking in that time. Right, because yeah. I was working. So I was like, still like, oh, oh right. it's four. But then I was like, oh no, it's five. I need to start packing now. Wow. <laughs> Made it to the hostel. Oh, so there's more of these. Oh, hi, just these hostel in your house. Mm-hmm. Because I think I did a hostel international when I went to Milan. Oh. Or Stello Bello, I think it's a hostel, it's a part of hostel international. Okay. I think. <laughs> Thank you. Which one are we? 503? No, we're 508. So okay. Right Hey girl, where are you? Yeah, Where's the Indian food? That's a good question. Okay, we're going to a place called Rock Sands. We're gonna meet Marilyn there. That building is cute. Majestic Theater. Yeah. Boston seems very diverse. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot of people speak a lot of different languages. We're here at Emmett's Pub. This is where we're meeting Maryland. This place is cute. This is a cute little area. I think in the morning, we're gonna do some exploring. And this isn't too far from where we're staying, actually. They do have a full menu. Okay, see a veggie burger. Potato skins. Oh, they have veggie burgers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This place is super cute. Everything is like eating and drinking. Yeah. <laughs> so We 
just made it back to the hostel and we're about to get ready for bed it's about 10 o'clock here when we got here we took a lift from the airport to the hostel and it was only like a $20 ride I think and then we just dropped our stuff down here and we went up and met with Marilyn tomorrow we're going to link back up again and then our friend Tiara is coming Tiara lives here in Massachusetts she's about an hour and a half from Boston so she's gonna meet us tomorrow and I'm really excited because I haven't seen Tiara since 2018 which because we were in Peace Square together so that was the last time I saw her so I'm excited to reunite with my girl me her Andy and our friend Angel were a crew in Morocco anyway we are going to do some exploring in the morning. We have a few places that we want to go where even though the weather is not the most exciting part about our trip, I'm really excited that I'm able to connect with all my girls and just have a good time together. Hello world! Heading to Tate for breakfast. I don't think it's called Tate's because we think it, what did you say, it was Middle Eastern? It definitely is, yeah. We think it's a Middle it's Eastern it's cafe because of the menu. So we're really excited to check it out. And I'm starving now. You? Yeah. I worked up an appetite getting dressed this morning. Oh, and this flower shop. It's cute. This is the same way we walked last night when we went to the Irish pub. So it's really close. Oh, and the Majestic Theater is there. Put a boat on wheels. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That imagine? would be cool. That sounds like really fun. It does. Okay, so there's the restaurant over there. I forgot to ask them how they say the name of this place. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to get to ask for. Too. Yeah, so we can take like the this. American spin off of it. Yeah. <laughs> what did you get? This is the mint lemonade. This is the sweet potato and avocado tartine. Okay. So it looks good. And then you got the the mint lemonade, mint lemonade. and I got pear. I haven't tasted this yet. So okay, try it. I'm excited to taste it to see. Because at my university it was super windy. And so you know the wind will always blow the umbrella up, but with it having a U shape, the wind can't get under under there. Has so many umbrellas broken that way. Exactly. <laughs> I got pear in this fresh pressed pear juice. Cheers. Oh, it's pearing. Very pearing and like fresh. I love this as like a breakfast, like some toast and avocado, some cheese, some egg. Oh, and sweet potato. Yeah, and sweet potato. I got the Avo smash. The one thing that's open. I didn't know I had eggs on this. I should have asked them for fried hard. But that's okay. We're going to see what this tastes like. Mm. How's it? It's good. It has a fresh taste. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I can taste the parsley. Yeah. We got a really nice history lesson about the what was it the 54th Shaw regime? Yeah, yeah. The, the Shaw 54 regime. Uh, regime. Yeah, yeah. And it's the only regime that had all black soldiers at the time. We thought that we were crashing a tour, and actually the tour ended. Right now we're at the Massachusetts State House. Okay, you are here. Though the British Army won the battle, their losses were immense, inspiring patriots to continue 
armed resistance. By 1783, America had won their, her independence, but still had to fight to defend her hard-earned freedoms. The invincible USS construction, popularly known as Old Ironside, was one of the newly formed U.S. Navy's fridge gates, free gates, built to defend the young country against pirates, the British, or any other who would challenge our land and liberties. Boston Common continued to be a major stage as the war for independence evolved. Many of the British killed at the Battle of, of Bunker Hill, for example, were buried in the Commons burying ground located along the Boston Street border. Okay. The people revolted. We just got tickets to see Cruella and we're super excited. We really didn't plan to go to the movies while in Boston, but because of weather, we need to do indoor activities. Cruella is top of the list for me. We're all gonna go as a group, me, Marilyn, Andy, Tiara, Garland, and, I, and her friends. I'm excited, we already got our tickets. We had to order them in advance. We're gonna continue on our freedom trail. Our movie starts at 3.45. Relax and watch Coretta. you're wondering why we're in the shoe store <laughs> we stopped at bsw because andy wants to get some tennis shoes i need some too honestly but i'm not gonna get them today sure hi hey girl hey girl hey hey friend okay so we oh update we're going to the movie at 3 45 and i'm i'm still super pumped about it are you excited i'm very excited me and andy are excited are you excited are you excited tr is excited too me, Andy, and Tiara are in the Boston Public Market right now. And it's really cute because they have a lot of cute shops. Well, actually, they have a lot of restaurants. It kind of reminds me of the West Side Market in Cleveland. For example, they have like the meat, the meat market is behind me. And then they have fresh produce over here. And then they also have food that they're making. It smells amazing in here. <clears throat> and then it is 320. And our movie starts at 3.45. Still haven't gotten what I'm going to eat yet. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever gone to the movie theater and bought outside food. <laughs> you want to try some tofu? The tofu is amazing. I can test it. I never had it before. Yep. Oh, that's the tofu? Yep. Ooh, what I'm getting looks real good. I see the tofu? Yeah, I see it. It looks like you know, ground. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is the uh -huh. Blood hoods. Uh -huh. Okay. And for the side, you like uh 
Do you like spicy? Yes. Do you want to do Tomatoes. some? Tomatoes. Do you like some spicy jalapeno chickpeas? Yes, please. And you know what? My favorite is to mix harissa, which is spicy oh, tomato sauce, mm -hmm. with some white garlic sauce together. I don't like I don't like the white garlic sauce, but I could test. Ooh. Wait, what other toppings yeah. do you have? You mean the sauces? No, the other veggies. I do have like eggplant. You want to try some? What else do you have? You know, brujé? Okay, I can get that. Do you like the uh, peppers? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That looks like, I forgot what the name was. Excusa? No, what are oh, Every part of Morocco I call it different. Uh, yes, what is it called with eggplants and Matisha? Zelouk. Uh, Zelouk? Yeah. Well, this is, this is what it that is. That looks like yeah, Zelouk. Okay. That's what it is. Okay, cool. And so, then a little bit of. Why, the, why you don't like the white garlic sauce? Because I normally don't get, get either of them. I normally just like the flavors. You know what? You're gonna love this together. Okay, this give me the, shui. The shui. white garlic sauce is made with the plain yogurt. It's very light. It doesn't have any cream or any mayonnaise. Okay. The with the spicy sauce mm -hmm. is made with harissa. It's tomato sauce base, mm -hmm. and I think some sauce. I mean, some spicy mm -hmm. with white garlic. -y. Okay. You're gonna be one of the happiest girls. <laughs> Thank you. You got the pita. I got the bowl. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. excited about this bowl. So, look at Shuya. He's look at Shuya. Look at Shuya. Look at Shuya. Look at Shuya. Oh, I took it up. This is Shook. me. This is dates. Oh my gosh, these waffles got me wired. Mm. Come to find out, it's pure espresso. How to do it? Where is that? This right here. Yeah, that's wild. Thanks for all your patience, ladies. No problem. Thank you. they did the the clips of all the actors yes. actresses and actors they she sent purdy to the the journalist yeah and pongo to the lawyer oh my mm -hmm. God. yep it's gonna be a part two it's gonna be that a part two so good. that was so good i, I was know. like oh my gosh i like me that movie what'd you think about it it was amazing i like the uh the fashion. fashion. Yeah. That's what I loved about it. The too. black color. And all I didn't things. know it was going to be like based on fashion. Yeah. I really like that. I have like chills. That was really good. Anyway, it's been like almost two years since I haven't been to them. Because then yeah. we get out by the time we get you to the place. You said y'all got popcorn. Did y'all get pizza? Is that what you said? Shh, shh. Darling got a pizza. I got the nacho with cheese. And then uh, Grace got popcorn. <laughs> we had everything. I did see all the stuff around y'all. <laughs> we had all the stuff. Oh, those are cute. Check these out. Marilyn's always styling. <laughs> Those are cute. That movie was literally everything. My girl, yes, got me yes. a gift. Oh, sweet, yeah. Uh, so she, mm -hmm. Can I read it? Of course. Meriki is a verb. It's to do something with it. So, creativity or lover, when you leave 
a place of yourself, a piece of yourself in your work. Oh, I like that. It's Greek. Okay. I got gifts. No, <laughs> oh, this is cute. This is so cute. And are these real flowers? Of course. Yes. <laughs> of course. This yeah. is so cute. Marilyn made this. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. With love. It is. Oh, these are so cute. This is like home decor. Exactly. I'm going to take this home. Of course I am. <laughs> Let me see the stamp over here. So you see the stamp that I put? It was like, oh, this you is know what cute. it is, right? Like, it's like a flower thing. It's but the it's flowers, like, but the stamp, with the you candle. With it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's hot. Yeah. Yes, so look. you stamped it like the letter. Exactly. Yeah. This and is then, so cute. And then, like, the flowers, like, uh, some of them. Um, they're actually from my garden. So like this one, mm. this one is like a, the orange one is like a marigold, mm -hmm. and then there uh, these purple thing are like tulips. Mm -hmm. So oh, that's cute. yeah, those are like the tulips. And petals. what is this called? Because we oh, saw these Crasperia. in purple today. That one, which one? The yellow this one? one? Crasperia. Mm -hmm. Crasperia. Crasperia. And then this is like eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Yeah. And it has. I can't I mean, smell it. Yeah, because it's under the. <laughs> It's on the gosh, Sinead. It's so, a strong But then fragrance. the roses, and then mm -hmm. this one over here is kind of baby breath. And, mm -hmm. But yeah, everything this is, is so real, cute. and everything I is just this. kind of dry. But I've created more than 10 already. Mm. These are really cute. And I'm getting kind of better each time that it's I make them. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm like, I really good. like the best. When I get home. This is really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, that is super spicy. Yeah, see those? I like spicy. Oh, spicy. See three of them. I'm like, wait. These are coffee. Coffee. Yeah. 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 That's like such a classic story. Yeah. 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 sugar and spice. The Aura went home. She lives about an hour and a half away from here and Marilyn 
Darlin and Grace are back at their Airbnb. Today was super fun. In the morning, we went to Tate's. Then we went on the Freedom Trail walk. And after that, we met up with TR. We walked around a bit. We went to DSW because Andy wanted to get some new shoes. We went to Boston Public Market. That's where we got food. I didn't get to show you my food, but we actually went to a Moroccan restaurant and it was called Moroccan something else. The guy there was really nice. He spoke Arabic. The food was really good. And then we went to see Corella. That movie, I highly recommend it. After we left the movie theater, we went to the Thai restaurant. So we did the movie because we couldn't really do any exploration outside because of the weather. So tomorrow what we're planning to do, Salem Witch Museum, which is in Salem, Massachusetts. So Darlin is actually going to drive. I didn't know that she had her car here. But we're not going there until afternoon-ish. So Andy and I are going to get up in the morning. We're going to have breakfast and then we're going to explore the Harvard campus a little bit. And then by the time we finish exploring, we'll be heading to meet up with Marilyn, Darlin, and Grace. And and then we're going to the Harlem Witch, the Salem Witch Museum. If you are into Disney movies, the reference for me is the movie Hocus Pocus. Comment down below and let me know if you are a fan of Hocus Pocus. It's one of my favorite movies. It has been really fun hanging out in Boston and I'm very excited that I got a chance to connect with some of my girls here. I will see y'all in the morning. Bye.